Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma bada habita fillah when we become humble and know our position and know that and that we are uh, many of us have very little knowledge but we try to offer and share but when you know your position you're in a, a safer place than the one who doesn't know the one who raises their head challenges attacks belittles the ulama and how many students some of them have spent so many, so, so many years in some of the Marrakesh of Sunnah in different countries. Some of them have graduates from various Jamiat. And then they raise their head and attack major scholars, call them Hizbi, call them close to, to leaving the Sunnah or Sheikh so and so is close to Hizbi. Uh, he needs to distance himself. Uh, you know, I'm refuting Sheikh so and so. This is amazing. It amazes me. Listen to this beautiful statement of our Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Suleiman al Rahili, Hafidullah Ta'ala. قال, I received many questions saying, what should our position be regarding the fitna, uh, the fitna that occur between the scholars, as we see all kind of trials and tribulations happening. The answer, fitn do not occur between the scholars, rather they know about fitn and prevent people from falling into it. Indeed, fitn is in being distant from the scholars and in minors assuming the position of the scholars in leadership of the ummah. So stick to the scholars and when they differ, adhere to the truth with this evidence. I've got to point out a few points here. Number one, what did the sheikh say in the last part of his statement? He said, so stick to the scholars when they differ, uh, adhere to the evidence. So that means you need the tools. So again, for a talib al-ilm, depending on your, your marhala in ilm, you know, how much knowledge you've sought or have not sought, then you need, then that gives you some tools, hopefully, to be able to distinguish between truth and falsehood. And to be able to look at certain issues, depending on your level, according to the evidence. So that means people cannot force you to take a position as so many of the youth who know nothing make ilzam and force the people to take a position. What's your position on Sheikh, Sheikh Rabi said this, Sheikh, uh, this one said this, Muhammad bin Hadi said this, Halabi said this, so-and-so said this, Abad said this. SubhanAllah, if you don't have the tools, be quiet. And do not force the people to take your view because perhaps another person is going by what they feel is stronger evidence or what they know to be stronger evidence. Another point we benefit from this is returning this fitna and the various fitna to the scholars. How many people who are still in their young stages of talab al-ilm, tawaylib al-ilm, or some of them who may have an experience in da'wah, but we don't know what knowledge that they have acquired and from whom. But they quickly speak and post and, and bring fitna to the, to the people who don't need this fitna and take a position. And then they have to go back and retract and backtrack. How many times have we seen this? Don't they learn? Don't the people learn? And don't they fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Because that means they're a part of the fitna, flaming the, fueling the fire. Instead of leaving it alone, let the scholars deal with those issues. Perhaps those issues have zero benefit for you. And it would be better for you just to keep seeking knowledge and keep giving da'wah in your locality instead of spreading and translating and bringing fitna to the people who don't need that fitna. Another point is that that we can learn from this statement is that we see as the sheikh said he said the fitna doesn't occur from the scholars okay a lot of times you find that a lot of fitna happens because the students fuel it people are at different levels even the scholars some of the scholars entertain that and they allow people to use them this is just it's the way it is criticize whatever you say we have just ample evidence books in history to confirm and verify what we're saying. Certain scholars, they are easily, more easily manipulated by certain people because they consider them to be of the thiqat. When sometimes we find that individuals are not from the thiqat, they're not trustworthy. Maybe they're major sinners. Maybe they're doing all kind of evil sins and ills. May Allah forgive us in them. I mean, Ya Rabbil Alameen. So then this brings about fitna. And they fuel the fitna. Sheikh, what do you say about this? They try to get as many answers and as many ulama into the fitna. 
and spreading. Sheikh so and so said this about you. Is Sheikh so is this statement true, Sheikh? If Sandadan, you know, a lot of times to bring and draw the Sheikh into a, a, a some statement that they can bring and publicize and use against other individuals or fuel fitna between the ulama. So again, I just want you to have some tools, especially the youth that are new to the Tao and are, and, are, and are striving to go forward with positive. Please don't con continue with the same legacy that some of us have done and left behind as a masiba for you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. And a beautiful statement Sheikh uh, Suleiman Rahali uh, mentioned once. He said, and you'll find it recording all over the net, I believe. And he was asked about those people who are warning against ulama. For example, I'm still, I, I don't usually follow these things, so I don't know what they're saying, but I've heard they're talking smack about Sheikh Saleh Suhaimi. Alama Saleh Suhaimi, one of those major scholars in Medina that you should take your affairs back to. SubhanAllah, I can't believe someone would just say oh, Suhaimi said to an alam like this. But look how the people, look at how the, the fitna that you see from the small students and whatever that will say, one minute they'll say he's a scholar or he's an alama. Next minute he's been hadi. Next minute he's Rahali. Next minute he's the, they're from the Jordanians. They're just the Yemenis. Subhanallah. Look at this, this Bahtanun Mubin. It's just clear misguidance and clear lies and clear mabni ala fitan wa mashakil. So I, I just, so what did the Sheikh say? The Sheikh said about those people. He said, you know, you'll find that people are warning against khair in a lot of countries and stuff like that. Don't sit, don't go visit Masjid so-and-so that Sheikh Salih Suhaimi's in. Those other people are hisbis in our eyes. Sheikh Ibrahim Raheli's there. Sheikh uh, Abdul Malik Ramadani's there. Whoever from our, from our ulama of Ahl Sunnah is there. But they'll warn against that. And what does Sheikh Suleiman Raheli said? Have a kitta a turq. That those are the people who are the like the 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 bandits of the road. Why? Because they're cutting the path with banditry of lies and deception to warn you and keep you ignorant in America, in the UK, in Sweden, in France, in Italy, wherever the ulama are, and you don't have ulama there to keep you away from the ulama. The ulama have come to you. You better go wherever they go, especially if they're from Ahl Sunnah. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد